Dubai International Airport is shutting down. Soon, the airport will cease operations, and all air travel will be transferred to a new venue. In a bold move to expand and modernize its aviation industry, Dubai has begun construction on a $35 billion massive new airport which is slated to become the world's biggest airport upon completion. The new airport will feature five parallel runways and 400 aircraft gates, and it will be capable of handling more than 260 million passengers annually, along with 12 million tons of freight. Not just that, the airport will be the heart of a new megacity that is already taking shape, promising to house 1 million people in the near future. Join us as we explore the exclusive details of this groundbreaking project in the Arabian Gulf, poised to revolutionize the aviation industry forever. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. Dubai's ruler Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum recently announced that within a few years, all operations at Dubai International Airport will be moved to the new Al Maktoum International Airport, also known as Dubai World Central. Sheikh Mohammed announced in April 2024 that the new terminal at DWC will be five times larger than the existing Dubai International Airport and will accommodate up to 260 million passengers each year. Construction has already begun on this massive terminal and Dubai's $35 billion new airport will soon be the largest in the world, boasting the highest capacity globally once completed. Paul Griffiths, the CEO of Dubai Airports, stated that this development would reinforce Dubai's status as a premier aviation hub. Griffiths said, Dubai's growth has always been closely linked to the expansion of its aviation infrastructure, and today we witness another bold step in that journey. DXB Airport opened to the world in September 1960. Featuring a sand-compacted runway, it had a small terminal building back then. The airport took 51 years, from September 1960 to December 2011, to welcome its first 500 million passengers, but clocked another 500 million in just seven years. Dubai International Airport has held the title of the world's busiest airport for international travel for 10 consecutive years, placing significant demand on its capacity. Nearly 87 million passengers passed through the transit hub in 2023 surpassing pre-pandemic levels. Additionally, Dubai recorded a historic 17 million international overnight visitors in 2023, marking a nearly 20% increase from the previous year. The problem for the Emirates leaders is that traveler demand is expected to grow substantially in the future, while Dubai International Airport cannot. Further expansion of the facility is limited due to the growth in residential developments nearby and the confluence of several major highways. The alternative is the Al Maktoum Airport. A timeline for the development of the new airport has not been confirmed yet but, Paul Griffith said that when capacity at DXB is reached, they are going to need a new airport, and that is going to have to happen at some stage during the 2030s. Over the next decade, once operations are moved to DWC, a lot of the assets at DXB will be quite old, and the new airport that's five times larger than DXB will provide the opportunity to have a fresh start, and it will be a major undertaking. While the DWC expansion takes shape, DXB will continue to serve as the primary hub, meeting the needs of 100 million plus travelers. The first phase of Al Maktoum Airport opened in 2010 with two runways. In October 2013, a was Air Flight, arriving from Budapest made headlines as the first commercial passenger flight to land at Al Maktoum International Airport. This new Greenfield Airport, located approximately 20 miles southwest of downtown Dubai, was designed with the goal of becoming the world's largest and busiest airport in the near future. The vision remains to create a futuristic mega-hub, ensuring that Dubai's role as a major node in the global economy does not encounter capacity issues anytime soon. As of today, DWC is still very much a work in progress. The airport has found its niche as a center for aircraft maintenance, repair, and overhaul and industry partnerships. It also hosts a number of air cargo operators, 
including Emirates Sky Cargo, the freight subsidiary of the UAE flag carrier, and handles executive jets and some charter flights. However, scheduled passenger services are limited to a few low-cost carriers operating mainly to Eastern Europe, Russia, and Central Asia. But once the expansion is completed, Al Maktoum International Airport will cover more than 27 square miles and will be the new home of flagship carrier Emirates, featuring five parallel runways and 400 aircraft gates. The new airport will be capable of handling more than 260 million passengers annually, along with 12 million tons of freight. This is nearly 100 million more passengers than Dubai International Airport. The new airport will be the centerpiece of a much larger scheme called Dubai South, which envisions creating a whole new city in a 145 km stretch of desert just south of Dubai. This entire new district, of which some pieces are already starting to take shape, will have eight neighborhoods, each dedicated to a specific industry or activity, with a mix of residential and commercial areas. With the airport at the heart of the action, it will form a complete aerotropolis. The new urban center will house a million residents and be connected to Dubai via road and transit networks. The Mohammed bin Rashid Aerospace Hub will play a prominent role in this vision, hosting Dubai's burgeoning aviation and aerospace industrial ecosystem, including the recently announced $950 million Emirates Engineering Center. So, what are Dubai's future plans for the airport, and when might we see a timeline or new designs? The Dubai Air Show, held at Al Maktoum International Airport in 2023, offered some intriguing hints about what lies ahead for the new airport and the long-term strategy of Dubai's airports. The CEO of Dubai Airports stated that while DWC is being developed, the plan is to maximize current capacity of DXB Airport through the application of innovative technology and refurbishments, rethinking the use of space to add another 20 million passengers to the airport's current annual capacity of 100 million passengers. This expansion at DXB Airport will not only accommodate near-term growth, but also provide additional time to strategize for the phased expansion of the new Al Maktoum Airport. The real turning point, will come when local giant Emirates and its smaller partner Fly Dubai relocate to the new airport from their current home at Dubai International. Aviation experts suggest that Emirates' shift to the new airport is more than just a relocation. It's a strategic realignment in response to the changing dynamics of the global air travel and trade market. Dubai's bet on Al Maktoum Airport as a future mega hub is not an isolated move. There is currently a race in the region to invest in new large-scale airport facilities, and no one wants to fall behind. The region's flag carriers are keen not only to claim their share of global travel flows and position their capital cities as international trade centers, but also to increasingly establish themselves as tourist destinations. Shiny new airports will definitely support these efforts. Inaugurated in 2014, Hamad International Airport in nearby Qatar, a direct competitor of Dubai in the long-haul connectivity market, is gearing up to expand its capacity to more than 60 million annual passengers. This adds to other airport expansion projects in the region, the opening of a $1.8 billion brand new airport in Moscow Oman in 2018, the $1.1 billion new terminal in Bahrain in 2021, and more recently, in November 2023, Abu Dhabi's Grand New Terminal A, a facility capable of handling up to 79 aircrafts simultaneously became operational. At the northern end of the Gulf, Kuwait International Airport is building a new terminal designed by the renowned British architectural firm Foster and Partners. The terminal will initially have the capacity to handle 25 million passengers per year, with the potential to double to 50 million in the future. Less than 20 miles from downtown Dubai, Sharjah International Airport is also increasing its capacity to 20 million passengers annually. Not to be left behind, Saudi Arabia is also preparing for a massive airport expansion as part of its Vision 2030, which has allocated $100 billion to enhance the kingdom's aviation activities and transform it into one of the world's top tourist destinations. In addition to launching a new international airline, 
Riyadh Air, the Saudi capital is set to receive a gigantic new airport. Riyadh's new six-runway airport will be built at the same location as the current one, entirely replacing it. It will have the capacity to handle 185 million passengers per year. Additionally, Saudi Arabia is planning to dramatically expand airport operations by building several airports on the country's west coast as part of the Neon Mega Project. So, when it comes to claiming the top spot in the global airport league tables, the stakes are higher than ever. It's understandable why Dubai is doing everything it can to remain at the pinnacle of luxury travel. As Dubai charts a course toward this bold vision, the announcement comes amid a resurgence in air travel, with international visitor numbers returning to pre-pandemic levels. With Al Maktoum International Airport poised to become the cornerstone of Dubai's aviation infrastructure, the Emirate is set to solidify its status as a global leader in air transportation and urban development. What are your thoughts on Dubai's new airport? Leave a reply in the comments section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.